Are you starting a YouTube channel? Do you not have a camera? Do you want a camera, but you don't have $500 to spend on a camera? Do you have an iPhone? Well, this is the video for you. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not then welcome back. My name is Asia and I post lifestyle and beauty content amongst loads of other things from Netflix suggestions to YouTube tips. You can find it all on my channel. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click the notification bell while you're down there and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It will help me out so so much. So before we even get started with today's video you already know I have to do my shout outs. If you would like to know how to get a shout out be sure to check out my description box down below. I have all the information for it there. Today's post notification shout out goes to Talk With Teen. Thank you so much for turning on those post notifications. I really do appreciate it and your support and I'm sending so much support right back to you. Today's comment of the day goes to Leah's TV. Thank you so so much for commenting and engaging with me on my video. I really do appreciate it and I'm sending you so much love and support just like you've been sending me. My last shout out which is my Instagram mention shout out goes to the Richardson gang. Thank you so much for posting me on your story. I really do appreciate it. For Instagram mention shout outs you basically just screenshot yourself watching um, my video and post it on your story and tag me at your friend Asia and I will screenshot it and give you a shout out in my next video. So thank you all that have been sending me so much support and so much love. I'm sending it right back to you. Really do appreciate it and I love you all. So with my shout outs being done, let's get into today's video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I record my videos on my iPhone 6s. Yes guys, you are watching this and I am recording this on an iPhone 6s. This has been highly requested. I've been getting so many comments on YouTube about how I record. Um, I've been getting Instagram DMs about it, Snapchat messages about it, and I'm finally coming on here and letting you guys know what's up. The very first step to recording on your iPhone is to have an iPhone. Oh my god! Wow! You can use any kind of iPhone as long as it isn't a 4 or below. But you can use a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can use any kind of iPhone as long as it is not a 4 or below. There are people that have blown up on YouTube using an iPhone 5 to record. Um, I use an iPhone 6. As long as it's not a 4, then you're set. So once you have your iPhone, you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to want to scroll down to camera and make sure that you have the um, resolution set to the highest setting. So whether that is 1080 um, by 60 frames per second or um, 4K frames per second, just make sure that it is set to the highest setting. This is really important because on the YouTube platform, a lot of you guys already know this, you want to watch your videos in the highest quality possible. The next thing that you want to do is you want to watch wipe off the camera lens front and back you can do this with a t-shirt you can do this with a tissue you can do this with your weave girl just make sure that you wipe off the camera lens a lot of times you have um, fingerprints on the camera lens dust anything and it will affect the quality that you get on your video you don't have to wipe it off like for five minutes straight literally just and you're good. So the next thing to record is to turn your camera landscape. Landscape is when it is like this. If you record with your phone like this, you have these two black bars on the side of your video doesn't look professional and that is not going to get you camera quality and camera quality is what we are going for. So make sure that you have your phone landscape when you are recording. The next thing that you want to do to get camera quality is to record using your back camera. The back camera is just, it's just, you just, it's just gonna get you that camera quality and your front camera is not. In my how to be consistent on YouTube video, in the first few minutes of the video I was using the back camera and then I used the front camera for the rest of the video and you can see the difference in the quality. So if you want camera quality, I would recommend using a back camera. But the reason that people don't like to use the back camera is because you can't see yourself when you use the back camera. How do you know you're in frame? How do you know you're in focus? That leads me into my next thing, which is to have a mirror behind the camera. So for me, particularly, the way that I have my tripod set up, it kind of covers like my face, so I can't really see myself clearly, but I can see that I'm in frame. And that's pretty much all that I need. So I keep a mirror like right here. I'm looking at myself in the mirror just to like make sure that I'm looking right I'm looking good now my next tip is focus slash AE lock so I'm going to demonstrate exactly what this is and how to use it you are going to go to the camera like so and you see how it already has that square it's focusing 
when we go to video, you want, you see that like square thing that it does? Okay, so you want to hold down the square and you're gonna get that AE AF lock. And then you see this little thing, you can drag it down or you can drag it up to make your video super bright. So, you see how dark it gets and how light it can get? This is gonna help you to um, get the best quality possible. So you can focus on anything, any area. So if I want to focus on this, I can, if it, so usually it naturally focuses, but I can tap on it and then I can make it darker. So it makes the background darker and it only focuses on this, or I can make it brighter. So that is typically how you use AE lock. You just hold it down until you see AE slash AF lock and you can make the brightness go up or down. So my next thing is setup. In order to record videos, you need a setup. So for me, particularly, I didn't always have a tripod or a small ring light. I used to stack books on top of each other, um, stack um, candles on top of each other, stack tissue boxes on top of each other. And if you don't have any like artificial lighting, like a ring light, box lights, um, soft lights, whatever, I would recommend recording during the daytime. Um, wherever you live, there's usually some sort of peak hours. For me, it's personally like 2 to 4 p.m. And that's when it's like good, nice, bright. When I didn't have this ring light, I would record my videos during that period. So what you can do is set your phone in front of a window and um, be like facing the window so that the light is coming in on you and you can have natural lighting. You don't need to purchase a ring light. So once you have all of that set up, you can finally start recording. This is my second favorite part of being a YouTuber. My favorite part is getting to see you guys' comments and um, engagement and all of that. I really do like love speaking to you guys. My least favorite part is editing. Another thing that I used to do is I would like record like my intro and then stop the video and then just kind of like play it back and just look at myself just to make sure that the lighting is okay. I'm in focus. I'm doing fine. Now I don't really do that anymore. I just click the record button and record all the way through. And then the last thing to do once you finish recording is to download the footage onto whatever um, editing software you use. So particularly if you record and edit on your um, iPhone then you don't have to worry about this. But for me I record my videos on my iPhone and I edit my videos on my Mac desktop so I have to download the footage from my iPhone to my um, Mac desktop so I will typically airdrop it to myself I don't airdrop it to myself I just use the charger plug it up to my Mac and import it you know some of you guys have been asking me if you do um, record and edit videos on your iPhone how do you save storage particularly what I do because I don't have a lot of storage um, is I record my videos, I download it onto my Mac, and then I delete the video. Once I delete the video, I also um, clear the like trash folder or deleted stuff folder um, so that it can completely be off of my iPhone so I have more storage and I have more space. So try these tips out, try this method out, and you will get your camera quality that you are looking for. If I can do it, you can do it. So with that being said, if you have made it to the end of this video, go ahead and comment mango so I know it's real. Um, give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. If you would like information on how to get a shout out, be sure to check my description box down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!